dear students uh, welcome in this sessions in this today's session we are going to cover the welding and its processes for different applications so we know the welding joint is a permanent joints and basically the welding is classified in the two way the one is the manual weldings and is the robotic welding and the machine weldings so outline of this today's lecture is study the different applications of the weldings what are the different types of the welding joint is required for joining the different elements and for engineering drawing there is some symbolic representation is present for the weldings is also covered here then how to join the two elements so for joining the two element some preparation is required and the preparation is based on the thickness of that the element then the basic uh, stresses present in the buildings and find out the dimension of that welding based on that load conditions and the elements so we know the is already discussed welding is used for the making the ferment joints of the two different machine elements and welding is depends on the material of that elements it's maybe the aluminum welding it's maybe the steel welding or it's maybe the different type of the welding and the welding is decided based on the material of that the elements when it is used in the manufacture of the automobile bodies even it is also used in the aircraft frames railway wagons machine frame structure works tanks furnitures boilers general refill work ship building house bridges etc so issues of application is presents for the welding for joining the various structures joining the various elements joining the various components so basically welding joints presents is depends on its positions where you are going to weld where you join this element the first is the flat welding in the flat welding the element is parallel with the ground and you can fill the gap which are present between this surfaces of the two flat elements and this welding is called as a flat welding vertical welding in the vertical welding two pieces of that the element is perpendicular with the ground and the welding is present in the vertical direction is called as the vertical welding then the horizontal welding so in the horizontal welding same like as the vertical welding but in the horizontal welding the welding is done in the parallel with the so ground so here these two element is kept on each other and what are the gap is present between these two elements you can feel by that the welding and the welding direction is parallel with the ground plane then overhead plane so overhead welding in the overhead welding the element is present in top side and like as the various structures and this welding is done in the overhead of that the operators and it is parallel with the ground but during the weld the droplet will be coming in the downward directions and it will fall in the downward directions and this welding is difficult than the another weldings and here high skill worker is required for the overhead weldings so these are the basic four joint is present for the welding that vertical horizontal and the overhead welding then the typical welding joint symbol is present for the parallel welds in parallel welds the two components are that the element is touch with that surfaces and you can feel the material based on the preparation so first is the straight weld then the single v type of the weld so in the v type of the weld so v groove is present and this groove 
is like as the filling material portions so then you can say the single v for the double v the both side the groove is present then the single bevel type of the well joint so here the one element is parallel or perpendicular to the ground and the one element is a, having the slant edge so this is a straight bevel then the double bevel is like as a letter k that means one is parallel and one is like the single bevel from one side and the other side so is a double bevel building then the single u the u letter is formed at the end of the two elements for the double u the both side this u letter is forms then the single j is like as a j letters then the double j both so these are the parallel type of the weld symbol is there then about the transverse and the parallel weld the transverse and the parallel weld is like as a lap joints and the forces is present in these two directions and the welding is present in the transverse and the, the parallel in the transverse so these are the elements one and these are the elements two and welding is present here and this welding is perpendicular to the direction of the force then you can say the single transverse fillet weld for the double transverse fillet weld the both side the welding is present at the downward side and the upward side of the weld and these are the lap joint and is perpendicular with the direction of the force and then you can say is a double transverse fillet weld and for the double parallel fillet welds basically in parallel fillet weld single parallel fillet weld is avoided because it twist about the cg of that the weld and it will be failed so when you are going to the parallel fillet welds always we are choose the double parallel fillet welds in double parallel fillet welds so these are the element one and these are the element two either the component two and the welding is present in this side as well as this side and this welding is parallel with the direction of this force and you can say is a double parallel fillet welds then again the uh, uh, typical joint is required for the welding so one is the normal type of the joint and one is the convex type of the joint so normal type of the joint is difficult to prepare during the welding because the typical slant is is present and the convex type of the weld is obviously developed during this welding because the droplet is like as a circular and when the drop of the weld is present it is coming like as a convex weld then the t joints for the t joints the two component is present one and the another component is present and between the this angle 90 degree angle you can fill this material so the t joint is also required the two side is a one wall and is another wall then the coronal joints so it is like as the 90 degree in diagonal and it is some gap is present and you can feel so is a coronal joint then the edge joints these are the again different type of the regular joints present in the buildings then how to find out this strength of the wells so in this case the component 1 and the component 2 it join by using the v weld either the butt weld and the tensile force is subjected on this weld p so obviously when this force is present on that the element either the components maybe the welding is fail again the tensile forces tensile stresses so our aim is to find out the dimensions of that the welding which may be the length or this may be the edge so here sigma t is indicate the tensile stresses in the weld is in mega pascal then p is a tensile forces on that the plate plate one and the plate two are the component of component two is it present in the newton then h is a throat of the butt weld so h is the third so is a h in some cases h is nothing but the thickness of that the plate either h is a throat of the butt weld either the h is the thickness of that the plate and here l is the length of the weld so l is the length of the weld so well after applying this forces and the split is subject to the tensile forces the failure occur in this weld and the plane is obviously the perpendicular with the force direction 
and this area is nothing but the H is a throat of the vertebral and the L. So cross section area is H into the L. Then you can find out the tensile stress is equal to applied force divided by the failure cross section area and is equal to P divided by the HL. Then so here since the T joint is present and you are going to apply and the subjected this forces on that the plate. So the shear failure is occur in this weld. The shear failure is occur in the weld. So here we are consider the middle zone of this weld where the minimum cross section area is present and this angle is 45 degree. So here H is the throat of the weld and is same for the both directions about the X and about the Y direction. And we are assume the failure occur at the minimum cross section area. So in this sketch the angle 45 here the minimum distance is present and the area is compared to less than the other angle. So our assumption is the failure occur at the minimum cross section area 45 degree. So this example you can take the any angle instead of the 45 less than 45 or the greater than 45 the cross section area of that the weld is greater than the angle 45. So then means you can, our, based on the assumptions based on the assumption our aim is to find out that the cross section area and this H is nothing but the so is the H this angle is 45 based on that trigonometry you can find out that value sin 45 or that the cos 45 respective based on your trigonometry and you can put that cross section area and is equal to 0 0.707 h into the l where the failure is occur then sigma t is equal to p divided by the cross section area is 0 0.707 h into l. Based on that equations you can find out the tensile stresses either the h and the l dimensions of that the weld. Then the typical welding symbol is present for the different type of the weld. Double flat weld is a t type of the weld and the weld is present in the both side direction. This symbol is indicate the position of the weld and this value indicate the throat of the weld and this symbol is indicate the double type of the welds from the both side. Then single V butt. So it's a single V butt and the symbol is indicate the single V butt. If it's a double V butt, then the same symbol is mirror with this plane in the both directions. Then you can say the double V butt, butt symbol. Then the edge point joint symbol so this is the parallel type of the line is present and is indicate the edge joints suppose some value is present before this then this value is indicate the throat of that the weld then for the single fillet weld series so is a corner type of the weld is present and for the single fillet it is indicate here this end indicate is the edge of this weld and this triangle is negative the single then the for the lap joints the lap joint is present for the both corner of this weld so is the one and the two and the symbol is indicate the lap joints then another type of the symbol is present for the fillet so it is triangle the square butt like this then for the v butt is like this double v butt the cross and the circular niches for the spot welding this is a symbol for the semi welding is the symbol and the position welding. The spot welding is done by using the machines. Example the tiffin box is welded by the spot welding. Then sim welding the fuel tank of the automobile is done by using the sim welding. So if here the based on the applications our aim is to select the proper welding and the proper welding joints then the 
welding process is classified in the different processes it depends on the machine use for joining the two plates either the two elements arc welding everyone is familiar with the arc welding mostly the arc welding is used in the fabrication applications in arc welding the carbon arc welding is there metal arc welding metal inert gas is tungsten inert gas inert gas there plasma arc submerged gas and electro gas in the arc welding the electro is used as a filler materials between this gap and the filler material is melt by using the <coughs> high currents and the voltage then the gas welding in the gas welding gas is used as a gas is used as a temperature decreasing elements and when the temperatures of that the filler material is increases based on that the welding is done so in the gas welding oxyacetylene is used then air acetylene is used oxy hydrogen is used then the resistance welding in the resistance welding butt welding is there spot welding is there seam welding is there projection welding is there and the equations welding is present then even the thermity welding is present solid state welding is also there frictions ultrasonics diffusions and the explosive the example of the frictions when you rub the two plates either the two surfaces on each other after some time the temperature of that element is increases and it will be seized so it's called as a friction welding the same example is present for the ultrasonic diffusion and the explosion buildings then the never welding so is the electron beam either the laser welding is there this two type of the welding is basically used for the high precision work and the high skill worker is required for this such type of the welding electron beam and the laser beam then the related different processes present for the welding the oxy acetyl cutting welding is there arc cutting is there hard pressing is present brazing is present and the soldering is present in the electron system so these are the various type of the welding processes present then how to select the proper filler materials for the our welding the selection of the filler material is depends on the strength of the material the strength required for that the buildings suppose if you use the similar materials for the building c45 and c45 these are the two materials then obviously what is the strength of the c45 the based on the material strength you can select the strength of the electrode material either the filler materials sometimes the filler material strength is greater than the strength of the welding elements but if you select the filler material strength is less than the plate which are going to weld then always the failures occur in the welding so avoid this failure you can select the proper filler material either the electrodes so these are the typical example is given so is a series of the electrodes and this 41 and the 51 value is indicate the tensile strength of the materials the 41 is given the tensile strength of this material is present between the 41 to 510 410 to 510 newton per mm square and the yield strength is given so means is a one example is present but you can select the filler material based on the which material we are going to weld what is the strength of that the material and what is the thickness of the welding either the throat of the welding based on that you can decide the electrode number in the electrode number the strength is mentions as well as the diameter of electrode is also mentions then some welding techniques is required for welding the two plates either the two joints and this technique is depends on the welding rod positions and the torque tip positions and the direction of welding so in first the forehand welding in forehand welding the direction of welding is 
this the welding rod present in the direction of the weld and torch tip is opposite the direction of the weld so it means from this point you can shift the torch tip towards the direction of weld same the welding rod is present in front of the torch tip then this type of the welding is called as the forehand welding then in backhand welding in backhand welding so direction of this tip sorry direction of the welding like this the torch tip is present here and this direction is also same as the direction of weld and the welding rod is present here so main difference is this the torch tip and the welding rod so based on that you decide which type of the welding technique is suitable for our applications if if you put this welding rod here then some undercut is present in your welding so avoid that always the welding rod is close to the torch tip and opposite the directions of the torch tip here also same thing is present torch tip here and the welding rod is present here so based on that direction of the weld direction of the torch tip and the welding rod the welding technique is present then for welding the two plates either the difference elements some preparation is required and this preparation is decided in the strength of the weld if the proper preparation is not present for that welding end then always the failures occur in that weld so avoid that failure initially you can prepare the surfaces of that the materials and then you can go for the welds suppose is for the parallel weld is a v type of bevel angle the v type of the weld is present so this called as the bevel angle is a groove angle and root opening there is here some gap is required for fill the material between this gap if this gap is not present then the strength of welding is not there and filler material is not inserted between these surfaces then such type of the welding is not suitable for that such application so means always you can maintain the gap between the two surfaces of that plate and you can prepare the some champers either the some fillets based on that application so these are the typical you can suppose the thickness of the plate is up to 6 mm then the root opening should be the 1.5 mm if the plate thickness is 6 to 12.5 mm then you can provide the groove angle 60 to 90 degree and the root opening is 3 mm same thing is for 12.5 mm to 40 mm then the root opening is present here is a 3 mm and the double v groove is present here 60 to 90 degree then uh, for the another the same thing is present for the manual arc building is present so means the proper welding strength our aim is to first prepare the surfaces of that the plate then you can go for the welding there is some defect is present in the welding and this defect is depends on the direction of the weld forehand direction either the backhand direction either vertical either the horizontal position position conditions so yeah so is a vertical type of the weld is present and direction of weld like this if the direction of weld is like this then the undercut is present in your weld so for that you can start your welding from downward to upward directions then the undercut is present in the welding so undercut is present in the welding depends on the positions of the torch and the position of the pillar materials if this angle is maximum then the undercut is present in the welding so avoid this type of the undercuts you can select the proper type of the uh, welding methods and angle of that the torch so in this lecture we are discuss about the 
welding welding symbols and the uh, how to prepare the different surfaces for that welding in next lecture we are going to discuss how to design the weldings thank you